Hey, what is up guys? Lux here bringing you a new video and today we're going to be taking a look at the Pirate Ship Adventure set 2.11.52. This is a Minecraft set obviously as you can tell from everything. And this came from the little Target haul I had. If you did see the haul, you were made aware that the box didn't come in the best condition. As you can see here, it got a little bent and it was even worse in the haul. If you guys saw it, but yeah, it's, this is a really good set. It comes with a bunch of new creatures, features, pieces. So I'm definitely excited to get into this. To one, expand my world and two, show it off to you guys in case you were interested. But yeah, ton of cool little features. So without further ado, not too much else to share that I'm not gonna show in the review. So let's get to it. Alright guys, and we're back. Hope you enjoyed the speed build. I try to make it as, uh, you know, as sped up as possible to not take away too much time, but... So we're back. I definitely didn't take a little break from the time of me building the set and now taking an overview of it. This is definitely right after I finished building it, hence all the dust on it, but ignoring that and getting that out of the way. Alright. So let's take a look at the set. Now for first glance, this is retail. This is the same price as the Spider-Man Far From Home Venice Bridge, but obviously I got this for not $40. I bought it on Target, so it was at $31. Pretty happy with that purchase. Along with a base plate, we saw the haul. But now let's get into this. Here we got a Skull Island, pretty much. This is a cobblestone structure built up with a, apparently a gold block right there, or a gold brick used in this Lego set. We got some TNT on the island. You can see some turtle eggs right here. Pretty nice build, honestly. Obviously, they're printed because existing pieces don't come that small. These are made out of two little white tile pieces with printing on them in the, of black to make it look like those turtle eggs in the actual game. Here we got a turtle himself, which is a pretty nice build. It was this was fairly easy to build, like not too many pieces to make up a creature of Minecraft, obviously. Obviously this is pretty accurate, a blocky creature and a blocky build. You know, that's how Lego and Minecraft pretty much complement each other. These fins are posable from the turtle. As you can see, I'm moving them around. So they could come up pretty easily, but overall, it's pretty well put together. The show up here, you know, a few tiles up. And obviously the printed eyes, not bad to get. Always nice to get new creatures, especially ones from recent updates, well, from the aquatic update, which was a good amount of time ago, but, you know, it doesn't feel like it, at least to me. So getting new mobs is always good. Here we got the dolphin as well. I feel like it, his build was it's a little too big compared to the actual people in the game and to the minifigures, but I say they did a pretty good job for what they used. Obviously, it can't be 100% accurate, but I say they made the dolphin... A pretty nice build, a pretty accurate build, as far as Lego is concerned. I feel like the nose is a little too wide, too long, but 
you know what? I'll get, I'll get used to it. So it's not a bad build overall. Pretty nice build as well. Obviously it has a ton of flexibility on the tails and the fins. So not much to complain about there. They do a really good job of making this brick build creatures come to life. Over here we got a zombie. Nothing, nothing too special about the zombie. It's a very generic zombie you get in most sets of Minecraft. But the real important and unique thing about this is the fire piece. You, the new custom molded, I believe, yep, molded. Fire piece, obviously, to use on creatures that burn up in the daytime. So skeletons, zombies, husks, stuff like that. I think it's a really nice piece that really complements and gives, you know, a little bit more life to the set. Obviously, the zombie burns in the daytime, so... It's only fitting that he has that, and I think it's a really cool new piece introduced into the Minecraft theme. And it's very effective what it's trying to do. Over here we got a little parrot, which I love the build for. He has a custom head right there to obviously make up the parrot appearance. We got some tiles, printed tiles right here to give the classic parrot look. We got a tile on a hook back here. Not too much moving with the tail, but you really don't need it. And this plays very well. This took like less than 10 pieces to build, which is really awesome. The pair build is one of my favorites, honestly, from this set because it's very accurate and very, maybe a little bit too big, but if it it's fits the scale pretty well. Here we got an Alex, very generic Alex. No armor, no nothing. She has a wood shovel and a compass, which is fitting for this adventure, as well as a new skin for the Minecraft line, which is a generic pirate. Obviously, his first appearance and. I think he did it pretty well. I mean, obviously, it's always good to get new skins in these Minecraft sets rather than Steve and Alex's the whole time. So, always happy with these. Kind of wish he was introduced with a special code to get him in Bedrock, just like the other render set from this year. But, either way, still happy to get him. Now, we're going to be taking a closer look at the builds themselves. I'm just going to move the figures out of the way. First, we're going to be taking a look at the pirate ship as the Skull Islands in the background. It's a pretty good build. You can hold it in two hands, obviously. You can see some pieces aren't pushed down all the way. Don't want to put it. Don't want to pull it just too good. All right. Obviously, this is a very generic build. Uses two colors: the light brown and the brown. It also uses some some brick type pieces right here to give it more of the wood plank look. And it also has some dispensers in the side. You can see little flick fire missiles back here. I'm not gonna flick them too well, but you know they come out like that if you flick them. Can't really fit my hands through there very well yeah, it's all falling apart so yeah we're not gonna mess with that right now but you can see also on the back they, they come with two skeleton skull heads which is a pretty nice attachment to have in the back the front of the ship obviously you can see a tip we've also got an empty bottle right there not sure how that's made in the actual game but we also got a compass here just sitting there we also got a map probably on a item frame which is a really nice piece so i'm not complaining there the inside build is pretty cramped, but it's enough to fit obviously a ton of figures in if you want to. The back there's not much except for a couple of fences back here. You can get a better look right here. And obviously inside is the structural build. You don't really get to see that all often, so it doesn't really bother me. And yeah, overall it's a decent build. Obviously the flag here with a custom printed banner with a couple clips on top in case you want to use it for something else. The flag build is very nice. I'm kind of upset that there's no crow's nest as you can see but is isn't really necessary so yeah good build overall now to move on to what I consider the side build but really you can consider any of these to be the side build because they're both pretty good here we have the skull island it's made up of a ton of gray bricks and pieces obviously you've got some TNT inside it doesn't really blow up it doesn't have an action feature but it's there in case you want to use it some sugarcane some sugarcane in the back right and someone growing under the skull island build itself here we got a gold block or gold brick we also got a dead bush right here which is represented really well with that piece always like any more of those here we got more of a terrain custom island build which is pretty nice never never complaining about more area to work with here we got a chest with a couple gold pieces and a fish in there which is probably what these guys are going for Hence the adventure part of the name. We've got our dock back here, which is pretty nice. A little attention to detail. And we have obviously the turtle eggs, which are new pieces in, in themselves. A torch up here, and that's pretty much it. 
it's a pretty nice build obviously gets a skull appearance and this isn't really obviously found in the game it's more of a creative standpoint to what is capable in the game not that the ship moves but you can obviously build this in the actual game and have this little structure inside as well but something that is part of the game which i'll show you right now is in fact a shipwreck now usually these don't look this nice and obviously detailed in the actual game but shipwrecks are actually in the game which if you're going accuracy wise you can obviously have this build this version this is very modular this is possible because they, these actually have a few connecting points right here and a bunch of little hooks are hid all around the island as you may have seen earlier right, like right here and we just clip it on and it sticks very well right there same goes for all these other pieces in the back. Modular. Has little clips right there. As you can see. And obviously I can switch these around any way possible. This is a recommended version that is seen on the box. Right here. As you guys can see. Let me give you a closer look and without blinding it with the light. There you got a little peek of it. But obviously you can move these around all over. However you please. But it's a... Uh, that itself is a pretty good recommendation. I would probably rock this if I want the shipwreck appeal or appearance. So, not bad. Like how it's modular, like how it can actually turn into something accurate in the game if you are into that. So, nothing to complain about right here. This is a pretty neat feature. And if you actually want to build the pirate ship back, it's very simple, very easy, in three easy steps. You just disconnect them from the hooks. And put them right back. I believe the ship goes this way, not that way. These also have hooks. In the bottom, as you can see, the yellow part is the hook. Make it very obvious so you can put it back up fairly easily. I don't know what this right here that I'm pulling. I don't know what this is. Probably like a to walk to plank or something, but I find no use for it. But if that is its feature. Obviously something else nice to have. For the pirate ship but yeah it's pretty much all there is to see and explore in this set obviously a very good set you really do get a lot for the price that you pay at first it may seem like a little bit less like when compared to other 40 dollar sets but once you have them all build you can really tell obviously there's a lot of basic pieces used but that's just how it is with minecraft you don't really need very you don't really need any exclusive pieces you cannot be built with lego which obviously is the reason for this partnership in the first place I feel but when you do get new pieces obviously like the parrot and this flame piece it just makes the set shine a lot more as a whole and yeah it's a pretty good pickup obviously modular as most sets from Minecraft are and not disappointed at all definitely happy with this set some new Minecraft Lego sets have leaked out recently now that gets me hyped obviously a lot more minecraft and it's a pretty decent wave like seven or nine i don't remember but it's a pretty big wave we also got a couple more releasing here in august or very soon so i'm also hyped for that obviously want to pick some up but we'll just see what happens and yeah highly recommend this set if you're into minecraft obviously i am as you've seen if you follow the channel that's the reason i picked it up and obviously i'm building a minecraft world so this isn't bad to have in a collection and yeah pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed and uh have to do an outro right goodbye